Hello everyone, this is a custom Android and today we are going to make a review for Raspberry Jelly by Rascalo for Nexus 4 and uh, it's Android 4.2.2 uh, and uh, Rascalo suggested that we use a Trinity kernel for uh, his custom ROM so I installed the Trinity kernel uh, the latest version to date and it's uh, 109A so it's a Trinity kernel by Morphic and Sims22. Let's go and see. So the first thing you'll notice is uh, that now we have five columns, not four, so one extra added. And uh, okay, let me show you informations. So here it is. Uh, basically, basically this is a custom ROM. Uh, based on Android open source project with a few tweaks added and also some uh, optimizations done by Rascalo. Okay, let's do a little scroll through home panels and also through apps and widgets. And this is a very slim ROM so it comes with only few pre-installed apps and you need to install uh, additional gaps which are not included in the custom ROM but you have you can download it it's from a uh, Raspberry Jelly site and uh, you have links down below in the description okay and uh, let's also see this is dialer contacts keyboard okay let's go in settings and here we, we have a uh, build tweaks for us jelly so in build tweaks we can adjust and customize our status bar by show clock and PM style battery status style it's a better icon and we also can uh, turn on brightness control so this is when you uh, slide with the finger over the notification area you can adjust your brightness I will leave it on also navigation bar you can customize it and you can adjust button height lock screen shortcuts which you can add you have volume rocker behaviors to adjust also notification light and quick pull down uh, we can turn it off which is turned off by default and when you choose right so when you pull down from right side you get a quick settings from left side you get notifications and vice versa okay that's it also I installed the Trinity kernel toolbox for the kernel and uh, by default uh, the maximum frequency now is set on uh, 1458 the minimum is 384 and the uh, default CPU governor is set on on demand uh, IO scheduler is row also uh, this kernel is uh, coming with uh, under voltage so what was the default voltage for uh, 1500 megahertz now is the default voltage for 1836 megahertz which is the maximum frequency you can overclock your CPU also you can adjust 
voltage and uh, you can also here adjust your vibrations and color settings so that's it and also I have done a little benchmarking and I will show you the results so here it is just a moment to start from beginning and okay here's the Antutu benchmark score with uh, 18,652 uh, all benchmarks have been done by default uh, frequency and all other settings <coughs> uh, this is a quadrant standard benchmark with uh, 5236 here's the Velamo HTML5 with uh, 1387 Velamo Metal with uh, 588 and here's the CF Bench 13145 and also I have played some games uh, this is a bitch buggy and uh, the average frame per second was 50 15 uh, 50 and the maximum was 60 and the minimum was 29 uh, here is a GTA Vice City with uh, all graphic settings on maximum and I get uh, average frame per second on 28 the maximum was 45 and the minimum was 16 uh, need for speed average 57 maximum 60 and the minimum 48 uh, Nova uh, with average 24 maximum 36 and the minimum 14 and uh, Real Racing 3 average 32 frame per second maximum 45 and the minimum 23 and here's some stability test done just to see uh, the battery and the uh, battery temperature and the maximum was at 40.8 degree of celsius and uh, that's it so thank you very much for watching us and see you in next review